hello and welcome to the surprise workout. I think you're gonna love this one because who doesn't like surprises? Surprise, Nina actually walked her way all the way down just to say hello to you. So I think she's on her way back upstairs again. Today, every exercise, or at least most of our exercises for both cardio and strength will have some element of surprise in them whether it's a direction change or just kind of something a little unexpected. So look forward to those. For this workout, you'll need a set of moderate weights and a heavy weight as well as an exercise mat for work we do at the end. Well, let's get started. Warm it up, march it out. Good job, standing nice and tall. Arms moving at your sides. We're marching four more. And three. In two, we march three, kick on four. So march, 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 kick, march, 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 kick. So that's a little surprise right there, our kicks. But I'm gonna make an even bigger surprise with foot pattern change. So we step back, back, forward, kick, back, back, forward, kick. Same exact movement, we just added direction. Good, two more. Next up, knee slappers. Hold your hands in place. Bring your knees up to your hands. Try not to cheat by lowering your hands towards your knees. You might catch me doing that, to be honest. We have four more. Three, step together, right, left. Arms follow. So these arms are a little different than we normally do. We sweep them around and right in front again. Nice and strong. Four, three, hamstring curls. Curl left and right. So foot comes right behind. Great line to your right. Arms are a little circle, big circle. So we're changing that arm a little bit here, starting off small and making them bigger to warm up our shoulders. Get ready to squat and rise. Down, up, down, up. Testing our knees, our back and hips here. If everything feels good, reach low and high. That might make the movement a little bigger for you. Getting down a little lower, up a little higher. Check this out. Heels lift at the top. Surprise, down and up. Two more. March it out, left foot leads. Left, right. So repeating all those movements on side two. March three, kick on four. March, 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 kick. And again, kicks don't need to be too high. Just have fun with it. If you want that direction change, add it in. Back, back, forward, kick. It's fun once you get it. Two more. Knee slappers. Remember, hold your hands steady. Make your legs do the work here. Nice, four more. Keep that spine long. Two more to your side. Step together, left and right. Step together, step. Arms circle, come forward. Great way to warm up shoulders and chest. Four, three. Hamstring curls. Curl it back, curl it back. No surprises here. This is a good familiar move. Grapevine, grapevine. Arms, little circle, big circle. Little circle, big circle. We'll do that four more times. And three, two more. Squat low, rise up, down, up. Start with hands on your thighs. And we add the arms, reach low and high. Take it down, reach up. Keep your heels grounded, or like last time, lift them up, down, heels up. Big surprise there. Actually not, right? Side two, there won't be any surprises. You'll remember it all from side one. Two more. Nice job. March it out. Warm up is complete. Starting our first strength set. Grab your moderate set of weights for this. Anything out. Make 
sure you have plenty of room side to side. We'll be taking four squatting step togethers, one direction for the other. Here we go. Slow, step together, step together. Two more. Same case, other direction. Now you've got to keep your knees bent here, hinging from your hips, or it's not going to be a challenge. Step together, step together. Nice job, other direction. Can you get any lower? Can you step any farther? Two more. Let's do one more pass each direction. Step together, step together, two more. Are you feeling your legs? I hope so. Two more to your left. Reverse lunge slow with your right leg. So step it back and hold. Come back in. Same leg. Step back and hold. Come in. One more. We're adding a surprise. Arm lifts. So we step back. Lift side. Lower down. Come in. Back. Lift. Lower. Arms can be straight for a little more challenge or bent if you have heavier weights. Let's try a couple more. Big step back, challenge your legs, challenge your arms. I think we'll do two extra. Surprise, right? That's gonna happen a little bit. I might add on. All right, four quick step togethers. Four, three, so surprise. These are a little faster. We're still low. Knees are still nicely bent as we step all the way across. Keep going. Step together, step. Oh, I'm feeling my legs. I hope you are. One more each way. Do you like the faster version better or the slower? <laughs> all right, left leg back. Reverse lunge, hold. Come back in. Again, big step back. Let's do that two more times without the arms. Getting that lunge down perfectly. All right, next time we add the side lift. Back, lift, lower, come in. Chest stays lifted. Shoulders step over hips. Remember your arm variation, long or bent. Couple more. One more. We can set our weights down. A little break from the strength, but cardio is next. So it's not a break break. All right, march out. We're starting with wide knee lifts, bicep curls. Right here. So have fun with this one. We don't have to think too much. Two commonly done moves, right? Bicep curls and wide knee lifts. We got this, but surprise, little patterns. Single, single, two on your right, double. Single, single, two on your left. Now that's not a crazy big surprise. I like that single, single, double pattern. So you've probably done it with me before. Single, single, double. One more set. Alternate tap backs, right foot, left foot. Tap back, tap back. Another familiar move. Nice low impact, but it's getting the heart rate up there. Of course, we've got to add something onto it. Check this out. Add a knee lift. Back knee down in. Back knee down in. Back knee down in. It's the same exact move. We just add that knee lift. So give yourself a chance to learn it and dig in. Three more. In two, new move. Two, open the windows, kick three. Three, two, open the window, kick three, two, one. So it's a little lift, lift. You see why I call it open the window? Perfect name for it. Again, lift, two, kick three. Nice job. Surprise coming. You can kick three or kick two times and circle around. Surprise, lift, lift, kick, kick, circle. I know not everybody likes to do the circle, so you have the option to kick three instead. Again, kick, kick, maybe circle. Kick, kick, maybe circle. Oh, just two 
four. We don't want to get dizzy. Lift, lift. All right, wide knees. Back to the beginning. Starting with the left. Get those arms in when you're ready. For now, single knees, both sides. Here comes single, single, double. Single, single, two on your left. Single, single, two on your right. We you know this. So get into it. Let's do two more sets. Single, single, curl. One more. Coming up, alternate tap backs, left foot leads. Back, back. Nice and strong. If you didn't like the knee lifts, keep it here. Otherwise, back, knee, down, in. Back, knee, down, in. I go to the side so you can see it a little better. So that knee lift is an option. Let's do four more of these, since this is a newer move. Two more, one each side. Ready to open the window, here we go. Kick left, three, two. Window twice, kick right, three. Again, no turns yet. Just relearn this pattern. All right, keep it three, or next time, two kicks, circle. Window, window, kick, kick, circle. Second time through, might be a little easier. But not necessarily. Let's do one more. Lift, lift, kick, kick, maybe circle. Ah, oh, room spinning. So, recenter. Get ready for more strength. Both of your moderate weights for our next round of strength training. All right, this one's all about the curtsy, so I hope you love curtsies. Right leg curtsy back, tap side, back, tap side, easy enough. We'll add bicep curls, palms forward, curl, tap, curl, tap. Ready for the surprise? One curtsy back, one curtsy front, what? What was that? Yeah, that looks funky, doesn't it? Challenging on the standing leg. Just one more. Now pulse backward, C3. Three. three, two, step center, two shoulder shrugs. Lift, lower. Curtsy back, pulse three. Good, stand tall, shrug twice. Working shoulders, the trapezius muscles in the upper back. Two shoulder shrugs. All right, surprise is coming. Pulse three. One shrug, one front lift. Do that again. Curtsy three. One shrug, one lift. Good, do that again. Pulse three, three, two, one. One shrug, one lift. We're doing that one more time. And I'm gonna be real spontaneous and throw in one more surprise. I'm never spontaneous, this is just for you. We're to curl press. Oh yeah, one shred, one front lift. Well, let's do that one more time. So pulse three, three, two. Oh, I forgot the press. What's not gonna be a surprise today is I'm gonna mess up a lot. All right, march it out. Same thing, side two. Going back to the beginning, just curtsy lunges, left leg, here we go. Cross back, tap, cross back, tap. Two more legs only. Add the bicep curl. Lift, lower, lift. Standing tall. One curtsy back, one curtsy front. Do it again. Curtsy back, curtsy front. Hopefully it's feeling a little less weird. One more of each. Pulse curtsy back for three. Three, two, two shrugs, center. Nice and high, bringing shoulders to ears. Cross back three. Three, two, one, two shrugs. Good job, do that again. Cross back, three, two, one, two shrugs. All right, next time, we change it. Cross back three. One shrug, one lift. So 
straight ahead. Do that again. Cross back. Three, two, one. One shrug. One lift. We'll add that second lift here in the curtsy. So curl, press, lower. One shrug. One lift. One more time. So curtsy, lift, lower. One shrug. One lift. Well done. Waist aside. Oh, towel off. Grab a little water. We're heading into some more cardio. Now this series starts out with all familiar moves. Then there'll be a surprise. All right. A couple more seconds of marching. Then heel dig. Right, left. Heel. Heel. We know heel digs. Four. Three. Knee lifts. So drive them up. Up. Keep your spine long. Four. Three. Front kicks, please. Kick it. We practiced front kicks earlier. Now they're even better. Good. Back taps. Back. We've done these before, too. Four more. Last part, jumping jack. Either low impact or higher impact. All right, surprise, we're putting it together. Two heels, two jacks, two knee lifts, two jacks, two front kicks, two jacks, two back taps, two jacks. Let's do that again, heels. So the jumping jack is the transition with knees. Jacks, front kicks, jacks, back taps, jacks, surprise, four of each, heels, four, three, jumping jack, four. Usually I start with higher reps and cut it down, but not now. Knee lifts, four, three, four jacks, good, kick it forward, kick, kick, jack it out. Four, three, back taps, four, three, jumping jacks, last set, four, three, two, beautiful. So much harder when you put those moves into a combination, but we did it. All right, strength is next. Grab your two weights. Once you've got them, Bring them by your shoulders. Stand nice and tall. Overhead press. Here we go. Press up, down. Weights are slightly forward. Core is strong. Four more. So a lot of upper body. But surprise, lower bodies come in. Right knee up, left knee up. If you want a real surprise, do both knees together. Don't do it, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> That would be a surprise for sure, though. All right, hinge forward, tricep kickbacks. So another very familiar move. Straightening your arms, spine is long. So once again, we're just doing upper body to start with. Then lower body, tap it back. Right foot, left foot. Good, again. Let's do four more here. Work it into those arms. In two more, we're putting those together in a pattern. Rise up, press with knee lifts, two of them. Hinge forward, kick it back, two. Always be two, push it up. Unless I want a surprise in there, then it might not be twos anymore. We'll see, I'll keep you guessing. <laughs> For now it's two, kick it back. One more set, two push up. Two kick back. Let's do four. Why not? Surprise. Kick it up four. Three. Two. Kick it back. Hopefully your weight is heavy enough that your arms are pretty exhausted at this point. One more and then we're done with this. Another pattern coming up. Wide stance. Turn out from your hips. We'll start with just plie squats. So sink down. Rise up. Keep your chest open, shoulders back, knees back. Four more, just the legs. Two more, not a surprise, we're adding arms, upright rows. 
So take it down, pull up, down. Weight stay nice and close to the body. Work in the tops of our shoulders. Good. Two more. Just the right arm. Watch for the surprise. Halfway up, all the way up. That's the surprise. Halfway up, all the way up. Again, down. Drive the elbow, then press high. Left arms turn. Here we go. Halfway up, all the way up. Weight still stays close to the body. Again, halfway, all the way. Last round. Hope you love that one. Oh, it works so many muscles. Feet forward, legs together, weights aside. Beautiful job. All right, move cardio on the way. Once again, plenty of room side to side. We will be shuffling right and left. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Staying light on your feet. Other option, two step togethers. So you decide where you want to go here. Not very exciting though, is it? That must mean a surprise is on the way. All right, here it comes. Shuffle, then hold, two lifts. Up, up, other way. Shuffle, lift, or jump. Your feet can leave the floor if you feel like jumping today. But we're all getting as high as we can and having fun while we're doing it. Good, lift, lift, two more rounds. Heart should be pumping pretty fast. All right, fast feet. So run, run, run. The surprise element of this one, I'm gonna shout out, jump at random moments. So when I say jump, you jump or lift. Ready? Jump. Keep going. Jump. I'm gonna try not to give it away with my facial expression. Jump. Did it work? Jump. 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 Oh, getting harder. I'm getting tired. Jump. Jump. Jump and jump. Oh, it's hard when you don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, we're done with that one. Got the heart rate up pretty high. So take a minute to let it come back down. Come back with your one heavy weight. It's time to bring that one out. Get some good use out of it. All right. Weight starts in your right hand. Step back with your right leg. Hinge forward, nice long line. When you're ready, narrow row. Lift and lower. So arm stays nice and close to the body. Elbow drives directly back. Speaking of back, we're working the back. Here comes the surprise. One arm lift, back leg lifts. Up. Down. One row, one leg lift. Up, down. Now, now that you know what we're doing, find a focal point. So as you lift and lower your leg, you're a little more balanced. Up, down, lift. How's it going? Hopefully you're finding your balance. You're finding that flow. Because I'm about to throw another surprise at you. Arm and leg lift together. Lift, lower. Lift. Oh, standing leg, my goodness. Four more. Four. Three. In two, rise up. Bring the feet together. Next sequence, side lunge. Reach for your foot, come back in. We're hinging as we reach to the foot. One more, then we're gonna add a row at the bottom. So lunge, lift. Lower, it's a wide row. Elbow drives out to the side. Spine is still nice and long. All right, here comes a surprise. We're gonna lift this leg as we row. Lift, lower. Now you might not wanna hinge quite as far if you're lifting your leg. And you do have the option not to lift it. But 
That doesn't feel good on your body today. If you are lifting, set it down softly. One more. Ah, enough surprises on that side. Side two. Weight is in your left hand. Left leg back. Grow when you're ready. Oh, side two. Feels like you started from the very beginning, doesn't it? Oh, yes. So get that row. Perfect. Next, we add the leg lift. One row, one back leg lifts. Find your balance. You've got that focal point to help you. Good. And you're setting the foot down softly, as we always do. Good. We do two more like this. You probably remember what's coming after. If not, I'll remind you. We'll be lifting arm and leg together. Here we go. Lift. I like to send my opposite arm to the side for a counterbalance. You do what works for you. Three more. Two more. Oh, that was a good challenge. But we're not done. Side lunge. Hinge. Rise back up. Two more like that. This is where we focus on keeping the spine long. All right, next time we have the wide row. Here it is. Lunge, row. So two different rows in this string set. They work the back muscles a little differently. Or I should say they work different back muscles. Lift this leg if you want. Down, up, down, up. This is where you don't hinge quite as low. So that leg has freedom to lift. Two more. Good, last one coming. I hope you feel it. All those muscles. Okay, I do. Ah, and you didn't. Have your weight, have your weight. All right. Cardio time. Feet a little wider than hip distance apart. Eight punches, then two squat knees on your right side. Here we go, punch out. Eight, seven, six. Squat knee right. One more. Punch with your left hand first. Eight, seven, six. Squat left. Squat knee. Squat, punch right. Brace through your core. Squat knee twice. Down, lift. Down, punch left. On those squats, I hope you're getting nice and low. Drive your knee nice and strong. Do it again, punch it out. Like you mean it. Squat knee twice. Down, up, down, left side. I know you're anticipating a surprise. Squat knee, this coming. Right side, punch it eight. It comes on the legs. Squat knee, squat kick. Surprise, punch left, eight. One squat knee, one squat kick. I love kicks, punch it out. I like punches too. Squat knee, squat kick. Again and again, punch it. Squat knee, squat kick. March it out. All right, next cardio exercise. I'm gonna be totally spontaneous. We're starting with two steps together each direction. The surprise will be what comes at the end. It's gonna be a surprise even for me. Two step together is right, two left. So very similar to our four squatting step together we did earlier with weights, but now we're up a little higher and we're staying at that faster pace to get our heart pumping. So this is your base move. Maybe add a knee lift. And if you don't like the variations I show you, try your own thing at home. I encourage you to do that. I think I'll add a kick. Step together, step, kick. I just told you how much I like kicks. So here are some more, right? Woo! Two more and then I'm gonna change it. What shall it be? Oh, maybe a hamstring home. Working that leg all different ways. 
do this four more times. So your legs are starting to feel it. All right, two step togethers, hold in place, front, back, front, front, back, front, other way, front, back, front. Again, step together, step, front, back, front. All right, now I want you to do your own thing. I'm not gonna tell you. You do what you want. This is your time to get creative. I wish I could see what you were doing. Let's do four more. Well, have fun. Three more. Ooh, two more. I've run out of ideas. Last one. As long as you keep moving, that's all that matters. March it out. Hopefully you have fun with that set. All right, grab your heavy weight. Heavy weight. I believe, let me double check. I don't want to lie to you. All right. Hold your weight like this by the ends. Side lunge, reach towards your foot. Come back up center, other side. Reach low, rise up. As always, Spine is long. Now this exercise, as is, is awesome. We're working legs, we're working back, we're working a little bit of arms, but we can change it to a little chasse. Surprise! We usually do chasses as a cardio exercise. Why not do it with the weight and make it strength? You can even add a hop, just like we sometimes do with our cardio chassés. That doesn't feel good to you? Stay grounded. One more each way. All right, center up. Uh, option to set the big weight down and replace it with one of your lighter weights or not. You will want one of your lighter weights on the floor. So once you decide to hold in your hand, up to you. Either the other moderate weight, or I think I'm going to go for the heavy weight. This is going to serve as a heel prop. So I'm just setting my heel onto the weight. If you don't want to use the weight, you can just lift your heel on its own. It's all good. The other foot, right next to it, will be squatting. Hold your weight on end. When you're ready, we're off. Kick it down, up, down, up. And I like to not come all the way up on this. I kind of just stop short. So it's kind of a surprise to see you the weight like this. But I've got more. Don't you worry. A couple more. All right, here comes a surprise. We're going to rotate. So squat, twist, untwist, all the way up. Squat, rotate. If you don't like the twist, just leave it out. Hold the squat facing forward a little bit longer. Take it down, twist. Bring it up, take it down. We have two more. Good, I hope you love this one because you know we have to do it again on side two. All right, so set yourself up. Weight or no weight, remember that's up to you. When you're ready, squat and rise. Make sure that other foot is parallel. Try not to arch too much in your back. I find myself guilty of that all the time. All right, add the rotation if you want. Take it down, rotate, center, press up. So adding those little surprises, those unexpected tweaks like heel lifted in the squat, Keeps your muscles guessing, not just your mind. Changes things up. We get good at doing the things we do all the time. So it's nice to change it up. We have one more. Awesome, all right. I'm gonna set the big weight down and pick the moderate weight up. Just need one. Last standing set works balance. Surprise, no. We work balance all the time. Simple, we're just gonna lift up our right foot as we hold on to our weight. Easy enough. Surprise, there's more coming. 
We're gonna take our weight, pass it around several times. Find your focal point. This one is harder than you might think. That weight going all different directions around you. It's trying to throw you off balance. Don't let it happen. Next time the weight's in front of you, hold it there. Then we're gonna cross chop to the outside of our right knee. So we're gonna lift and chop, don't step down. Chop, chop. Oh goodness, even more challenging, right? One more, we're done. Oh, strength and balance. Side two, weight on your right leg. Lift up your left foot when you're ready. Find your stability. You don't even have to send the weight around if you don't want to. But if you do, here we go. Pass it around. Good side, bad side, right? <laughs> no. Both sides are doing awesome for you. I just know it. When you've got the weight in front, hold on to it. Cross chop to the outside of your left knee. Cross chop. Cross chop. Let's do that four more times. Oh, try not to step down. I'm fighting for it. I know you are too. And done. Oh, it's a side. Oh, it's a little gentle march. Even though that was strength and balance, it got the heart rate up. We want to bring it back down before we go to the floor. So march in place or go get some water. Get your mats out and ready because we're heading toward the floor. That'll give us a little extra time for heart rate recovery. All right, first exercise we're gonna do will be on hands and knees. So if you don't wanna be on your knees today, you can do the same exact thing we're gonna do on the floor, standing. You will want one of your probably moderate weights. If you've got super strong triceps, you're welcome to get your heavier one. Once you've got your weight, come to hands and knees or remain standing. Weighted hand, or weighted arm, is gonna to come to the elbow. Opposite leg comes back, and then we're off with tricep kickbacks. Now we did tricep kickbacks before standing, so I don't need to cue you through it. You know to keep that elbow in and fully extend your arm. Now, fun stuff, surprise, we can add the leg. In and out, along with the arm. And you really want a surprise, go opposite. Arm goes in when leg goes out. I'm not going to go there. But here's another surprise. One kick back, one punch forward. Oh, that's tough. Your core has to brace a little harder on that punch ahead. Works the shoulder. Good. Let's do two more. I bet you're just loving this. And you're saying, please, please more. That's your last one. We sound though, because we've got side two. All right, so transition. Weight in the opposite hand. It's the opposite leg from the weighted arm. Start with it just behind you. Elbow to ribs, kick it back. Nice, smooth movement. Get the tricep kick back going perfectly, then decide if you want to add the leg. Torso as still as you can. Four more. Three. Change coming in two. We're not done. One kick back, one punch front. See, no surprises on the side, too, right? You know what's coming. I don't know. Personally, I like to know what's coming. Two more here. Kick it back. Punch it forward. One more each. Oh, feels good to drop that weight. And we are done with the weight. You can totally set it aside. Next, we'll be coming onto our stomach, working some backside muscles. So unfold, belly down. Any back issues, hands are here. Otherwise, arms overhead. We will be lifting upper and lower body slowly. All right, so focus in. Here we go, up two counts, down two counts. Do it again, up two, lift, lift, lower, lower. Glutes are working, hamstrings are working, back is working. Here comes a surprise, lift and open, come back 
in and sit down. So you're coming to an X position with your body. If you don't like that for any reason, just stay with the slow count list and lowers. Up, out, in. Three more. For a real surprise workout, I shouldn't tell you how many more are coming, but I'm not that mean. One more. Up, out, in, rest. Oh, let's press back into child's pose or any other rest position. I'm so sweaty, I'm leaving marks on my floor. That means I'm working hard, right? <laughs> All right. Exercise coming up. Sideline position. Elbow under shoulder. Knees are bent and stacked. Another familiar move, clamshells. We open slowly, set it down. So we're lifting and opening. Now you can play around with the degree of bend from your hips and from your knees. Find something that's challenging for you, but somewhat comfortable. All right, surprise, we can add a hip lift. So as our leg opens and lifts, the hip can lift. Challenges the obliques a little bit more, and that shoulder. You want more surprise? I got it for you. Lift, extend, bend, set down. Lift, extend, bend. You love it? This will be our last one, just in case you don't. We'll stretch. Grab a hold of your top foot. Pull the heel in. Oh, precious recovery. Feels so good. We're stretching out the front of our thigh. All right, have a seat. Cross your top leg in front. We'll stretch our back and our hip by folding forward. All right, rise back up. Grab your side too. Good news is, this is our last exercise. All right, elbow under, shoulder, knees bent and stacked. When you're ready, lift and open. Sometimes you gotta do a few clamshells before you decide maybe to bend or straighten a little more from the hips or the knees. So take as much time as you need to make those adjustments. All right, do you wanna add hip lift? Yes or no, both are perfectly good answers. Slow and controlled, always better when it comes to strength. All right, that last piece if you want it. We lift, extend, bend, set down. Oh, so many muscles working. Two more. Lift, out, in. Oh, last one. Thank goodness. Stretch it out. Reach for that top foot. Heel to glute. crossing your top leg in front, and then just settle into forward fold. Very good, rise back up. Oh. All right, bring your knees up, lengthen through your spine, rotate to your right side, gaze over your right shoulder. Slowly untwist from the other side, stay nice and tall. Twist, face forward, legs in a comfortable position. We'll bring one arm across for a good shoulder stretch. So hopefully, even if you're a person who doesn't like surprises, switch sides, you enjoyed today's workout. Sometimes it's good to get out of our comfort zone and have fun with some unexpected treasures. Good, release, big breath in and up. Interlace your fingers at the top. You can flip the palms upward. Good, shoulder stretch a different way. Exhale, lower your hands back, lift your chest and chin. You should be very proud of yourselves. Another challenging workout completed. So thank you so much for joining me for this surprise workout. I hope you loved it, and I hope we'll be back again very soon. Surprises if I can get back up on my feet after that one.